William Wordsworth was born in this house in Cockermouth, in the Lake District of Northwest England, in 1770, and by his death, 80 years later, had produced some of the greatest of English poetry, and had deeply influenced future generations of English poets. He had a happy childhood here, until the untimely deaths of his mother when he was eight, and his father only five years later. It is the first mild day of March, each minute sweeter than before. The redbreast sings from the tall larch that stands beside our door. There is a blessing in the air, which seems a sense of joy to yield to the bare trees and mountains bare and grass in the green field. Then come, my sister, come, I pray, with speed put on your woodland dress, and bring no book, for this one day we'll give to idleness. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills, and dances with the daffodils. And finally, I travelled among unknown men in lands beyond the sea, nor England did I know till then what love I bore to thee. The morning showed thy nights concealed, the bowers where Lucy played, and thine too is the last green field that Lucy's eyes surveyed.